What's up, family? What's up, family? Week 14 is here. Ah, oh, just about last night. Gotta love those Cowboys. Gotta love those Cowboys. Oh, happy day. Anytime they lose, I get happy. I'm so happy to see them lose. I'm a Giants fan. As far as I'm concerned, keep Jason Garrett. Keep him there. Wanna know why? Because as long as you keep Jason Garrett, you'll continue to be a fuck-up organization. I'm just happy to see them lose. It was a beautiful thing. As far as the rest of the Week 14 picks, here we go. Carolina, 5-7 and seven at the 3-9 and nine Atlanta Falcons. I'm going to take the Falcons. I'm going to take the Falcons. And Falcons are, what, given three? Traditionally, division game. Julio's playing, and Julio goes off against Carolina, particularly at home. I'm taking the Falcons. Baltimore versus Buffalo. Baltimore's giving six. Now, I love Baltimore. Yeah, I know <laughs> Lamar Jackson's made me a believer, but they've won like eight games in a row now. They're going to lose another game in the regular season. They're going to lose another game. They're going on the road. Buffalo's had 10 days of preparation for this offense. They have a stout defense. But the one thing about Buffalo's defense, how they prepare against the run. My thing is the fact that Sean McDermott has had 10 days to prepare for this. I'm going to give Buffalo a slight edge. And I'm going to pick Buffalo for that upset. Ravens are giving six. They're going to lose another game. They're going to lose another game. They're not going to go undefeated into the playoffs. They're going to lose another game. Nothing bad about them, the bad against Lamar, but they're going to lose another game. This is going to be the mulligan. Buffalo gets a win. Cincinnati at Cleveland. Cleveland gives seven and a half. Cincinnati finally got a win. God bless you. You're not winless. You'll at least be one to fifteen. Still suck. They still have some. And it was crazy. They still have some high paid talent on the defensive side of the ball who came to play last week. But um, I don't think it'll be enough to beat Cleveland in Cleveland. I'm going with the Browns. Next, we have Washington on the road against Green Bay. Green Bay offensively got their shit right against my horrible Giants defense. Now they play a horrible Washington defense. A Rod gonna keep 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 that train rolling. Detroit has had ten days prepared to go on the road against Minnesota. I don't like Minnesota giving up the thirteen points, but I do think that they will secure the win. Matt Stafford has a chance to play in this game. I think there'll be a game time decision. Who knows? But I don't think Minnesota will cover 13 points, but I do think they win that game. Now, a great game right here. Uh, I'll get to that in a minute. Miami versus the Jets. Home away. Doesn't matter. These two teams play each other. And I think Miami beat them earlier this year. I think Miami's going to beat them again. I think Miami's going to beat them again. I think Miami's going to win this game. Jets giving three and a half. No, I'm sorry, five and a half. Miami's going to win. Indy versus Tampa. I like Indy. You know, Tampa's going to throw for a lot of yards. One thing Tampa can't do, they don't stop the pass very well. They rush the pass, though, but the secondary isn't really good. Um, T.Y. Hilton, I expect them to have a big game. I trust Jacoby Brissett hell of a lot more than I trust Jameis Winston. I'm rolling with the Colts. Um, Denver, going on the road. Shout out to um, the rookie quarterback. He got his first win last year. Last week, I'm sorry, Drew Locke. But uh, this is Deshaun Watson we're talking about. Whole different ball game. Whole different ball game. Coming off that win against New England, they're going to keep the ball rolling and they're going to win. I said this in the beginning. Once Nick Foles went down, it was his. Nick Foles went down, then Andrew Luck retired. Sean Watson is your division to lose. They're nine, they're eight and four. When this game to be nine and four, it's your division to lose. And look like they're gonna win it. I like the Texans. Then you got the Chargers going on the road against Jacksonville. Garner Minshew gets to start over a very ineffective Nick Foles. Now he has a chance to earn the spot for next season. And then Jacksonville is going to have to make a decision about what they're going to do about Nick Foles. Philly might have to make that call. Uh, but I'm going to take Jacksonville. Because the Chargers right now are complete are in complete disarray. Complete disarray. And I like their coach. I really do. 
I look them for better things next year. Tennessee on the road against Oakland. I like what John Gruden is building. I really do. Um, the rookie running back cracked a thousand, and but he's a little injured. But they going against Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry is a problem. He's someone that I personally would not look forward to tackling for four quarters. <laughs> and I'm just being honest with you. Completely being honest with you. And they're doing the right thing. They're playing run first. And you have a quarterback who can deliver the football. The one year that Miami gave Ryan Tannehill a running game and a decent defense, he took him to the playoffs. And he has a much better offensive line than he ever had in Miami because they had some horrible offensive lines in Miami. So, um... My boys, Don Ryan Tannehill was way better than Marcus Mariota. Um, I like Tennessee. Then you got Casey going to New England. Now, they went there last year and put on the show, end up losing. I just don't think New England can keep up and score with them. I think New England's going to play with a lot of emotion early. But Kansas City's a team, no matter how good your defense is, they're going to score a certain amount of points. When I think of how much press coverage that, that the New England plays... Okay, even though you got Gilmore, what you going to do for Kelsey? What you going to do for them other receivers? What you going to do with Williams and McCoy? They come out the backfield against those linebackers. Oh, my God. Like, I don't think Tom and that offense is going to be able to keep up. I think they're going to play with a lot of emotion first half. Second half is going to turn into a track meet. It might turn somewhere in the, in the second quarter, but I'll give them credit. They'll be like that in the first half. Second half is going to turn into a track meet, and they're not going to be able to keep up. KC. Uh, Pittsburgh. Give me two and a half against Arizona. Now, Mike Tomlin got a lot of flack for all the years. He underachieved with great talent. Rightfully so. He's getting the, the credit he deserves for overachieving with not a lot of talent. And he's going to get the win. They'll be 8-5 and five and keep himself in the driver's seat for getting a playoff berth. Shout out to Mike Tomlin. Then you have Seattle against the Rams. I know I love Seattle. I know I love Russell Wilson. He was my pick for MVP. The reason why I'm taking the Rams is this. This is not the same Seattle defense. It's just not. Todd Gurley's going to get a bigger workload. He got a big workload in the first game and ran for like a bucket change. Now they're home. He's going to run for a buck and change against them. Every single game Seattle plays, they play close. Want to know why? Because talent-wise, they can't match talent for talent. It's just that their quarterback is better than 9 out of 10 quarterbacks in the NFL. It's maybe, what, two quarterbacks in the NFL better than Russell Wilson? Maybe that. So you can get away with that a lot. But Russell Wilson can't keep overcoming the fact that his team can't match up against another team talent-wise. I think they'll keep the game close because we've seen that the Rams, when you run it straight at them, you can still gash them for yards. They just beat up on the Minnesota offense defense for 200-plus. This will be a good game. Both teams will run the football well. But I think the Rams are going to win this game because, look, Seattle's 10-2, just like with Baltimore. They're bound to lose a game. They're going to lose another game. On the road, division rival that always plays them tough. Could have won the first game in Seattle. They're going to win this game. Then you got my Giants against Philly. It's looking like Eli is going to start. And I can't lie, I'm actually happy to see Eli again. Nothing against Daniel Jones, but I will say this, though. This right here shows you the value of Eli. And I say this because Eli started well over 200 consecutive games. Daniel Jones has started 10. And he's already going to miss one. Let that marinate for a second. In a perfect world, Eli will have this great game, have his swan song. Next week, turn the back, reins back over to Daniel Jones just to let motherfuckers know, you know what, I am going to go to the Hall of Fame one day, and this is why. But, which very well, way ha very well may happen because Eagles defense is night and day. But, the Giants defense ain't night and day. They suck. They're going to make Carson Wentz, who's been stinking it up all year, all of a sudden look like a, a MVP again. And Philly's going to win this game. That's my picks. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you like. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. It's your boy, Urban Sports Guru. I'm out. Salute.